Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and uh, welcome back to Crusaders Gardening and uh, and stuff. Um, today I'll try to show you how to uh, dry parsley, and you could basically do the same thing uh, with uh, with other things like basil and sage and uh, thyme and stuff. Um, I just happen to have Italian parsley here. Um, what I usually do is I'll just cut off the, uh, the leaves uh, into uh, into a strainer, and um, I put them onto a drying rack, which looks sort of like this here. But I'm sure that uh, if you don't have a drying rack, I'm sure you could probably use um, paper towel. Just spread the paper towel out. I guess in uh, like um, double layered, and um, once I have all the leaves uh, in here in the strainer, I'll just rinse them uh, through water, and then I'll just put it on top of the drying rack or I guess paper towel. But I guess if you're doing it in paper towel too, just make sure that they're. I guess the leaves are dry, or you can uh, try to get uh, out as much uh, water as you can. So it doesn't soak through, and if you have it on the table, so it doesn't damage the table, or if you put it on the floor, so it's, it doesn't damage the floor. Um, I don't know if you saw my last video uh, where I was collecting the uh, tops of the um, garlic chimes. The, the Italian parsley here was growing on the uh, right side of the garlic chimes. Or I guess some people call it uh, Chinese chives or, or um, oriental chives. I guess they're, I guess they have so many names, but um, it's it sort of takes a while, I guess, to uh, collect the leaves. But um, the stem, I'm just gonna put on a separate plate, and eventually I'll put them in a compost outside. But um, what I usually do when I'm just collecting the uh, leaves is I'll just uh, listen to the radio or listen to us music um, just to help pass the time if there's um, any parsley that uh, one second here's one Maybe not, but the parsley that's gone yellow, I usually just not collect the leaves, I'll just put them in uh, compost. And this one should be okay, it's not dark green, but still looks like it was on the verge of maybe wanting to turn yellow, but... Um, what I usually do after they've dried is that I'll put them into a, into a like a mason jar. I'll just quickly drag it one. Just give me two seconds. into a mason jar and I'll just label it parsley so for example this is parsley if I do it with um, sage I'll just label it sage or um, basil or whichever I'm putting inside the uh, jar and I put uh, a plastic top I'm sure you could uh, use the uh, two-piece uh, metal caps I'm sure those would uh, work fine too if you can't find the uh, plastic caps, but um, you can see that it came with the leaves when I cut them. Um, when I cut them off the roots, I cut them about an inch off the ground, like the cart, uh, the cut part. I lost like an inch uh, from the ground, and they basically just um, 
pulled out the roots afterward and I threw the, I put the roots into a compost. So uh, I'm just going to finish cutting these because I don't think you guys want to spend like a half hour, 45 minutes of uh, me uh, just cutting the leaves and I'm not a big talker so they probably end up being quiet uh, for a bit so I'll just uh, clean all these and then I'll go back to me just uh, after uh, for instance these I'll just go back to uh, taking these out and then putting them on the drying rack so I'll be a few seconds okay so here I am. Oh, I'm back um, I end up not getting a lot of uh, Parsley, uh, because a lot of the parsley had started turning yellow, I guess because of the uh, cold temperature uh, that I've been getting because of fall. So um, I cleaned up all, I cleaned up all, all the leaves off the stems, and I rinsed it under cold water uh, in the kitchen sink. So now I'm just gonna be basically put the uh, leaves on the drying rack, or you could use paper towel, I guess. Um, but just try to make sure that you uh, get a lot of the water off if you're putting it on paper towel. Um, so I'm just putting them on. And uh, when you're putting them on, try not to have them like flat, flat, pushed up against the uh, screen. Just try to make them kind of uh, fluffy. And um, so at least that way some of the air can uh, get to the uh, between the leaves so I was kind of expecting two uh, two racks or two drying racks but um, I guess not because of the uh, at least half the parts the had turned yellow so uh, just gonna spread them out a bit for the first uh, few days you'll wanna just move them around a bit just to try to get the air to uh, evaporate and um, it should take about maybe two or three weeks three weeks I think would be max but um, for them to uh, dry and then you could put them inside a, a jar or if you don't have any jars I guess you always put them in a Ziploc bag also that should work fine too so um, you could basically uh, do this uh, for uh, for keeping sage or thyme, even with uh, with, with what's it called, uh, basil too. There's tons of uh, spices or uh, spices herbs that you could uh, dry them this way. Even if you buy stuff uh, from the grocery store, um, you could basically do uh, the uh, same thing if you don't think you'll uh, finish them uh, soon. So at least you keep them instead of them uh, going bad. And if you're making a uh, soup or uh, like a cacciatore, you can always just take the uh, dry leaves and just kind of uh, break them up in your hand and put them inside the pot. Um, so I hope you uh, guys uh, enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.